Hello everyone, Hermano here. In the next two videos, I'm going to install WordPress for testing purposes on a Debian installation on VirtualBox. So because it's quite a long video, I'm going to split it in two parts. In this video specifically, I'm going to install Debian 10 on VirtualBox with guest additions. And in the next video, I'm going to install the LAMP stack and the WordPress package and set up WordPress so that you can work on it on your local machine. So let's get started now with the first part. The first thing you want to do is to go to your browser and navigate to the Debian website. And you click on Getting Debian here. And here you can basically choose to download an installation image. So if I click on here, I can choose, for example, my architecture, which is AMD64. And I will be downloading the net install in this case. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go back here. And if you want to download a bigger image, you'll have to go to try Debian Live before installing. So once you click here, you can choose whether you want to download it via BitTorrent or directly. So in this case, I'm going to go to MD64 again. And here I'm going to look for the ISO. And I would love actually to install GNOME in this case. This would be the image I would be downloading, which is 2.3 gigabytes. However, in my case, I'm actually fine with the net install. So I go back to the home page and I will just click to download Debian here, which actually I've already done. So if I look in my downloads folder here, I have Debian here. So I can close this window now and pull up VirtualBox. And we're going to install here a new machine. So I'm going to click on new. And I'm going to give it the name Debian 10. And I'm going to give this machine four gigabytes of RAM and click create. And for the disk, I'm going to go for 128. I'll be generous here and click create. Now, because I want to install also the guest additions here, I'm going to tweak some other settings and I'm going to click on settings here. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to processor and bump this up to two. And on a display, I want to bump this up to 128 and enable 3D acceleration. Then I'll go to storage and click on empty under the IDE controller to select the image I just downloaded. And under network here, I'm going to go to bridged adapter and allow all to permissions mode and click OK. And then I'm going to start the machine. So it's a small window here. I'm going to zoom in. Um, I go for the graphical install, so I just hit enter. And yes, I'll select English for language, so I'll just hit enter here. Well, my location is not United States, so I'll have to scroll down to other, go to Europe, and select my country, the country where I am now, which is Switzerland. United States locale is good, so I'm going to hit enter here. My keyboard layout in this case is going to be Swiss German and hit enter. So the host name, I'm going to leave it, it's fine and hit enter. I don't have a domain name right now, so I just hit enter here to continue. I'll select the root password. And hit enter and create a new user. So my full name. User account, yes, it's fine. And the password. And hit enter. Now we are going to select the disks. It's going to take a moment here. There you go. So entire disk for this purpose, it's fine. I'll hit enter. And that's the only disk I have, so I hit enter. And all files in one partition, yes, I don't have any other wish right now, so I'll just hit enter. And finish partitioning and write changes to the disk, yes, and I'll hit enter. And I'll scroll down to yes to confirm the action and hit enter again. And now the disk is going to be partitioned. And it's going to install the base system here, so it's going to take a moment and I'll be back when it's done. So configure the package manager. No, I don't have another CD or DVD, so I'll just leave it at no and hit enter here. Now I must to select the mirror where we can download packages. So Switzerland is fine. So that's where I am right now. So I'll hit enter. 
and I'll scroll up to Debian to the second one which is closest to me and I hit enter I don't have any proxies so I'll just hit enter here and the package manager is now configuring so let's wait a second no I don't want to participate in the package service so I'll just hit enter here and now it's going to install the software and we need to select the desktop environment so I'll just leave it at that right now because we are going to install other packages later so I'll just click continue and now it's going to download the packages install them and so it's going to take a moment here I'll be back again when it's done all right so now we are asked to select the grab bootloader and yes I would like to install it on the master boot record so I'll just hit enter here and I'll select the second option on the list, this is the only disk I have, and hit enter. And grab is going to be installed now. It's going to take one moment to finish the installation and then we can reboot the system. And there you go, so now click continue. And the system is now going to reboot. And there is grab here, so we'll just hit enter to select the image. So now we are in GNOME, so let's log in with my account. So the first thing I want to do is actually to give my username, Hermano, pseudo powers, as right now if I try to update packages, it will not work. So let me pull up the terminal. So I'll have to switch to the pseudo user by typing in su and enter the password. And now I'm going to type in slash spin slash user mod space dash a capital G sudo and my username. Okay, now I exit the root user. So for the changes to take effect, I have to log out. So I'll click on my username here and click log out. And I log in again. Now pull up the terminal and we're ready to start. So the first thing I have to do is to update the packages. This is very important as a first step. So I'll just type in sudo apt update and hit enter and my password. It's gonna take a moment to check the servers and it seems to be all packages are up to date, which is great. So we can move on to the next step. I'm gonna clear up the terminal here so before we can install the guest additions, we need to install some extra packages. So let's do this and we'll type in sudo apt install. And these are the packages you will have to install before installing the guest additions. So those are gcc, make, Perl, build essential, and the Linux headers. So Linux dash headers dash in my case AMD 64. You might want to replace this with your architecture and hit enter. Accept the changes. So I'll just hit enter here. We'll take a moment here to download and install the packages. So I'll be back when it's done. And there you go. So let's reboot now the machine because we need these packages to be in place. So I'll just restart the virtual machine shortly. And there you go, so I'll log in again. All right, now we are ready to install the guest editions. So let's click on devices and insert guest edition CD image. Now I don't wanna run the software from here as I might run into problems. So I'll just click cancel and I'll go to the file manager and navigate where the CD is and right clicking here and open the terminal. And I want to actually run the program as a sudo. So I will just type in sudo sh for the shell command and then the name of the package, which is vbox linux additions dot run and hit enter. Then put my password. 
It's going to take a moment to install the modules, so I'll be back when it's done again. So as you can see in the last line, the kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted, so we need to reboot one more time. So I'll close up the windows here and I'll just reboot. And we can log in again. And now if the guest additions were correctly installed, if we click on the view menu here, we'll see that auto resize guest display is active. So I'll just hit my control F to go full screen. And as you can see, we are going full screen. Now, because I have a 4K monitor, everything is very small. So I'm just gonna right click on the desktop and go to display settings and bump this up to 200% and click apply and keep changes. Well, there you go. We have Debian 10 installed in VirtualBox with guest editions. So in the next video, we are going to install WordPress and the LAMP stack in order to test eventually one WordPress website. Well, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, make sure you like it by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover in Linux, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.